This is my day in the life as a soccer student athlete here at Missouri State University. Taking you through an off-season morning routine here. Um, I usually start the day by going straight out to, to get some sunlight as soon as I wake up. Try to get some photons in the eyes, start to wake up, get ready for the day. I then drink some water, uh, take a yoga mat outside with me and pretty much get to stretching outside as soon as possible. Start with my feet and my big toe, uh, trying to unlock that, trying to improve my flexibility there. And then move on to some general lower body stuff, like uh, you can see some spine work, calf stuff, some hamstring, the usuals. I usually finish at around 7.30, get that done, head back inside, and then uh, I get to the next part, which is the cold shower. I look chuffed. Cold shower, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and bore you with the, the, the explanation and the benefits of it. You guys probably know. Uh, it kind of sucks, but uh, it's worth doing for sure. It gives you a bit of a dopamine. Uh, dopamine hit for the next couple hours. Usually the first couple seconds are the worst and then you, you're pretty much good to go after that. Dry off, usually get changed, and then I head out to, to really start my day where uh, you'll see the next bit. All right, what's up guys? We've uh, just completed the first part of the morning routine. So, uh, oh, look at that, mate, fucking stunning. So uh, we're off to the, the clubhouse of the apartment complex I live at. Gonna go grab a coffee chill out, go through social media for a couple minutes. Today I think we've got, uh, I think I just got a 45 minute light jog, and then we might do some uh, like prehab exercises and stretching. I'll see you guys in there. For these morning workouts, I like to get in the gym as quick as possible after the morning routine. I usually do some kind of jog at a very light pace, 30, 40 minutes, just to get a sweat on, just to get moving. Prehab exercises after, got some tibialis anterior raises here. Uh, they're good for ankle health. I did a few more, but forgot to film them. Uh, and then I kind of crack on with the day after that. All right, just got done with the workout. Um, about to head back into my apartment, get showered, get changed. Uh, and then I'm gonna head off to the treatment room. Gonna go see the physios here at Missouri State. Uh, gonna get some work done on my back, some work done on my ankle. Um, just to keep on top of it, make sure I'm ticking over. In the treatment room, got some scraping done. Uh, I've slowed it down here. Some great work from the team physio, John. We're going a little bit all over the place here, but uh, I decided to also throw in my gym session stuff. We can see here that I started with some basketball to get warmed up. Just like to play basketball, a bit of fun. For some reason, I look kind of zesty when I shoot. I'm not sure if anyone can help me out in the comments. I'm not sure why I shoot like this, but you see this one coming up here. I have a bit of a weird form. I'm a soccer player, so, you know, leave me alone. But I play basketball just to get warmed up, get some blood flowing. Then we move on to backwards treadmill, uh, like backwards walking on a treadmill. It's good for knee health. It's supposed to get blood flow deep into that knee. Uh, we also got some uh, VMO slant board squats. Gets you really deep, gets in the range of motion to be improved, gets you to get stronger throughout the whole movement. Then we've got some RDLs. I like to stay on this VMO slant board while I do it. That's where my feet are. Makes me force myself to uh, get pressure onto the hamstrings and maximize the depth and strength I can get in those hamstrings. Now we've got some slant board forward lunges. This is a great movement for flexibility, but also for strength. Works the, uh, the VMO of your leg. Um, helps to improve that range of motion throughout the whole side. And it's a unilateral movement. So soccer players, are, it's essential for. Some calf raises, 
This helps with uh, strengthening my Achilles, strengthening my calf, helping with my ankle strength, making sure I don't get injured. And then we've got some uh, sideways gym ball rotations, good for trunk stability, good for core, um, generally good exercise. Then we uh, complete out our day. What's up guys? As you can probably tell, had a haircut, look fresh. But that does mean this is not the same day as the rest of the day that I've been filming. Some technical difficulties with the camera, um, so we've come back the next day to get after it. About to go to the field, uh, me and one of the goalkeepers on the team. We're about to do a session, probably gonna do some shooting, some free kicks, uh, some ball work. Pretty much just get after it. And uh, I'll show you guys what we get into. It's now basically just gone 8 p.m. Just got back from the field. Usually what I do now is have some dinner. After that, around 9 p.m. I got a bit of some stretching I do. Uh, usually get some massage going out. Watch a series with my girlfriend and then uh, usually call it a day. Turn the lights off around 11 p.m. Get some rest, wake up, pretty much do it all again. I appreciate you coming on this, this day with me. Hope I gave you a good insight into roughly what a D1 athlete does during the off season. No school currently because it is the off season, uh, summertime. So I uh, appreciate you watching.